How many of you ever face a life-threatening challenge? Have you been able to overcome it? And how many of you quit because you were not able to solve it? Have you ever wondered why some people are kind of like thriving every time? When the weather is right, but also during the storms. I was born a sick child, and the doctor told my mom that I am going to live a very short life. Ten years maximum. And you'll agree, I don't look ten years. <laughs> I am standing in front of you today with 47 years of bonus. How come? Resilience. Maybe you've heard the word resilience. What is resilience? Resilience is a power, is an ability to face challenges, to go through challenges, and to come out as a winner. Bigger stronger, better. But why is it important? Why is resilience important in today's world? Look around us. We just came out of COVID-19. No, we haven't came out yet. Three years and it has completely, completely changed our life. And we were not expecting that. And a lot of us have been very affected by that. So we need resilience in order to be able to face those unexpected challenges coming our way. And let me tell you, we are not done yet, or rather, it's not done yet to us. COVID-19 is still there, but together we are having climate change issues. We are having all those kind of you know issues that we don't want inflation price increases and all that so let's look at what resilience is all about or what are the factors that influence resilience first i believe mindset is fundamental now, what is your mindset or what kind of mindset do you have? You've heard it maybe. People tell you, hmm, be positive. <laughs> and many think that, oh, my blood group is be positive. <laughs> but no, they're talking about be positive. Even if nothing is going right, be positive. Quite difficult, right? Because we are an emotional being. But when people are asked or telling you to be positive, I feel that they're talking about your mindset. Mindset is fundamental because mindset is what makes us see what we want to see, isn't it? You feed your mind and your mind feed you, right? You feed your mind, you know what? Oh, I'm not seeing the clouds. I'm seeing the sun behind the clouds. And then that mind when you are in those troubled waters, they come back to you and say, hmm, the water is not troubled, you are troubled, man. Keep calm. Second, I think self-awareness. Self-awareness is essential. First question to ask ourselves, who are we? Who I am? How many of you here, you, you woke up rather in the morning, 5 a.m., sat down with your cup of coffee with a blank sheet of paper <coughs> around in the middle and this is this question, who am I? Anyone? Do it. Believe me, you'll love it. Who am I? Self-awareness is important. Who am I? What's my strength? My, what my weaknesses? What I'm good at? What are my passions? What do I want to be? Hey, when I leave this world, what is the legacy that I want to leave behind? What will be my second name apart from Ravin? What people will call me? Resilient. The resilient guy. And then, look around you. You need to build a robust support network. The people around you, who are around you, they say that you become an average of the five people who you are hanging around. So, 
Who are around you? Toxic people? Say bye-bye to them. So you need positive people. You need people to lift you. You need people to encourage you. You need mentors. You need coaches. You need this bunch of people sitting around. You! Because it's important that when you need support, they are around you. And then self-care. Hey, you know, as parents, maybe we are always looking at our kids, isn't it? But you've heard that when you're in the plane, they say there's turbulence and they are putting on the oxygen mask. Who should wear it first? How many moms in the room? Who should wear it first? Moms first, isn't it? So that you can take care of your kids afterwards. So self-care is priority number one. You have to be in great health. Because when you're in great health, when you're in great shape, you can do more for the people you love. Now your question would be, Robin, how do we build this resilience? So we have to cultivate a growth mindset. Always be on the lookout for growth. Those of you who are here, this is why you're here. Read books. Positive books. Hang around positive people. Have all those networks around you. But learn. We heard lifelong learning. Never stop learning. Cultivate that growth mindset. Second, foster self awareness. I told you that small exercise in the morning, wake up at 5 a.m., sit with your whatever favorite drink you like, put that blank paper and ask yourself that question Who am I? What am I seeking? What do I want? And the answer that is going to drop out of your mind would be absolutely amazing. Build a solid, robust network. If you are earning 50k and you want 100k, you know who should be your friend, right? You should go and befriend those people who are actually earning 100k because they are going to be able to teach you how to get there. Always think next level. Always have people around you who are going to uplift you, who are going to lift you up, but who are also going to kick you, you know where, when you need it. Those people who are going to be transparent with you. Your friend, but also your biggest critique when you need it. And the last one is not the least important, it's the most important. And it's about prioritizing self-care. You know, we spend a lot of money on a lot of things. And most of the time, it's materialistic. I'm not saying you should not. But then when we have to go for a spa and it's like a hundred dollars, we say, oh my God, that's too much. Self-care is priority number one because if you are in the best of shape, you can shake the world. And this is why you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself physically. You don't do those small walks in the morning, the nature walks. And then your emotional being, your emotions, you have to take care of them. Your mental health is important. Practice mindfulness. And when you have these little times, this gaps of five, ten minutes, do a bit of yoga, meditation, and do the mirror exercise. Stand in front of the mirror and tell the guy in the mirror, how awesome are you? Oh my God, look at you. You're a winner. You're taking the world by storm every day. In the morning, for lunch, before going to bed. Three times a day. You know, resilience is not just a concept. When my mother heard that I'm not going to live long, she decided not to agree. She decided not to listen to the doctors. 
But I paid a heavy price. I had to, in, you know, take in all the grandma's medicines, which we don't like, you know. When my mother was taking me at nine years of age to the sugar cane field, I thought my mother didn't love me. It's only later, much later, that I understood that my mother was building resilience in me. My mother was telling me, hey, death is already prescribed. Learn to live. Learn to live. Add a day every day. And every day adding a day made me God 47 years of bonus. So, it's important to build resilience so that you have a resilience mindset so that when the storm is coming, you are deciding to rise above adversity. You are deciding to take setbacks as stepping stones so that you can come back. Be resilient. Embrace change. Embrace challenge. And grow to your best version.